Hello, I just wanted to post something. I haven't posted in a really long time. Um, it's been a while, quite a while. I'm not sure how long. Uh, I've been, I was wanting to uh, post things on a more regular basis, but a year ago, over a year ago, 15 months ago, uh, we had our third child. And <laughs> it's been a hectic while. The past year or more has been very, very hectic. However, uh, there have been uh, it's been a great time, a very good time. Well, he's a very healthy baby, and uh, but he's keeping us running. <laughs> so I haven't had time to work on electronics very much. I did build a, a theremin, a proper Moog theremin, um, which I did not record um, because the output is not very loud. And then I proceeded to build this project here, which is not a theremin. Um, it is it is the next stage of my projects. Um, which is leading towards a modular synth. This particular project is just a drum synth, but it works really well. Uh, it's uh, based on the DS7, and it is very, very pleasing to work with. Uh, it has a good sound output, and I'm very pleased with it. Um, as you can see, The baby's napping right now, so I don't want to wake him up. And he loves to play with this thing, by the way. Um, I just thought I would share this with you. This is the DS7-based drum synth. And if you, if you search on the internet for DS7, you'll see the schematic that you can use to build this. And it runs up a 9-volt battery. I made it with an internal speaker. And I gave it an output for a stereo system. And I'm hoping to add a guitar trigger right there. So that you can plug a guitar into it and run it from a guitar. And that would be pretty amazing. You know, electric guitar maybe being distorted with this. That would be awesome. Now I don't play the guitar, but it would still be awesome. So, um, I would like to go over this with you folks, how to make one of these, but I'm not sure how much time I have. I'm not sure how much help I can give people, so I apologize for that ahead of time. But I thought, because a lot of people lately have signed up to my channel, I would post some things. I like that. So please forgive me for not posting very much and not replying very much, but I have three children, uh, one of whom is a baby, and the eldest is seven. And they're very <laughs> energetic and and hard to keep on top of things uh, <laughs> with. Um, but anyways, yeah, the baby loves this thing. He just pounds on it all day. Anywho. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I do apologize for not posting. I hope to get back into posting. I'm hoping this is the first of several videos, and I may include my kids in building projects. Um, who knows? Who knows? But I do plan to build eventually a modular synth based on um, an, a design that is available on the internet. That is my end game. This is a step towards that, though. Uh, next, I'm going to build a more complex version of the, one of these. I'm going to add a white noise generator and uh, a couple of other things to make it a bit more elaborate than just the DS7, which is a pretty nice synth by itself. Very simple. Very simple schematic. If you search for it, DS7, you'll find it. Anyways, uh, and by the way, this uses a CA3080. You'll have to adapt it to use an LM13700 or an LM13600. You'll have to find a way to adapt that because the CA3080 does not exist anymore. Very old chip. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for signing up to my channel. I do hope to get back into making videos. Uh, take care.